In the previous screencast, I showed some very basic scenarios of using JavaScript libraries in Dart. This time, I'd like to cover more advanced topics, such as managing the lifetimes of proxy and callback objects. Let's start with callbacks. I have this class, eventometer. An eventometer stores a list of listeners, which are basically callbacks, and calls them every time an event is triggered. Uh, so let's write a few tests showing how we would use this class in our Dart application. Event capturer here is an utility class that I'm using to test callbacks. First, I'm using the proxy class to instantiate an event emitter. Next, I'm using the JS callback once constructor to wrap the callback method in that proxy. Basically, it creates a function that my JavaScript library can call. And finally, I'm registering the listener and firing an event. Let's run our test, and it's green. Unfortunately, often it's a little bit more complicated than that. As you may have noticed, I've used the JS callback once constructor. What it does is it creates a callback that will be automatically disposed after it's called once. Therefore, if I fire a second event, I will get an exception. One-time callbacks are useful in lots of situations, but not in my case. What I need in my case is JS callback many. The many constructor won't dispose the callback, so I can fire multiple events without getting an exception. The downside is that I will have to call dispose myself. The last bit I'd like to demonstrate is proxies lifetime management. By default, all proxies are locally scoped, meaning that a proxy created inside one scope will be automatically released when the code exits that scope and as a result, it won't be available in any other scope. To keep the proxy alive beyond its local scope, I have to call retain explicitly. The downside again is that I will have to release it myself by calling release. Wrapping up, we've taken a quick look at the Dart JavaScript interop. I think it's pretty good for working with data-driven JavaScript APIs. Wait gets a little bit more complicated is when you start working with long-living callbacks in proxies. But in either case, I would recommend building anti-corruption layers around all the JavaScript libraries you use. And that's it for today, and thanks for watching.